that the nominee lacks sufficient judicial experience. Six, that the nominee has a, quote, 100% perfect record of following the, and then there is a deletion, Marxist, another deletion, revolutionary line, end quote. Seven, that the nominee is, quote, biased toward the AFL labor monopoly, end quote. Eight, that the nominee, when he was state attorney general, was guilty of nonfeasance and failing and refusing to bring about prosecution in the case of more than 1,000 bookmaking violations concerning which evidence was presented. Nine, that the nominee, while governor, quote, knowingly appointed dishonest persons as judges and thereafter elevated them, end quote. You intend to take action uh, on the committee? Uh, vote on whether we... Uh, we take executive action. We'll hear, we'll hear the evidence and be, meet the executive session. Decide what you want to do with them. Mr. Chairman, may I ask wh whether any of these charges are under oath or in affidavit form? They are not. Knowing, uh, firstly, that the charges are, are untrue, I, it would seem to me that uh, here is a man who is Chief Justice now, Chief Justice of the United States. I wouldn't uh, submit a... Uh, town marshal to this type of an anonymous uh, charge without us uh, having an opportunity to evaluate the person making, making the charge. Mr. Chairman, do you think this endorsement of Senator McCarthy will either help or hinder the Sons of the American Revolution? I think it will cause harm. Senator McCarthy uh, is associated in our minds with uh, distortion, unwarranted uh, accusations, unsubstantiated statements, and with the great harm that he has done our country abroad. I believe that he has done more harm to our country abroad than uh, all of the uh, Soviet propaganda apparatus could possibly have done. And then, excuse what I said to him. I, as I look it over, I think my language was too temperate. If I were repeating it today, it would be much stronger. This, this is the abuse. This is the official reporter's record of the hearing. After he said that he wouldn't remove that general from the army who cleared a communist major, I said to him, I said, then, general, you should be removed from any command, any man who has been given the honor of being promoted to general, and who says, I will protect another general who protects communists, is not fit to wear that uniform, general.
Well, fellas, you, you've got your uh, television set, I see, after your 30-hour wait. Yes, sir. Uh, what did it cost you? $9.99. $9.99. Was it worth the wait? Yes, yes sir. sir. Really worth it, huh? Yes, sir. We had a lot of fun waiting, too. No, I, I, I don't recall anything about the case, and I'd have to look into the facts before I could... Uh, the senator said yesterday that he believes no one can turn down a call from a committee or a subpoena except the president. This seems to bring up a direct issue with you, sir. Can you uh, expand your attitude toward that? No, I am not going to add anything to the situation in advance of the hearing. My order to General Swicker not to appear for the hearing originally scheduled for this morning was proper. Do you have any further uh, uh, communication with Mr. Sherman Adams, sir? No, sir. <laughs> I just don't know how to answer that question.
The report of the Committee on the Use of Gamma Globulin last summer has unfortunately been inaccurately reported to the American people. That committee did not say in any sense that the use of gamma globulin in the proper amount and at the proper time in mass inoculations was not effective. What it did say was that it had found that there was not sufficient use in that way on which to base an opinion one way or the other. The original experiment made by Dr. Hammond with March of Dimes uh, funds in 1951 and 52 demonstrated that gamma globulin properly used in mass inoculation was 80% effective. That is the scientific record up to date. The National Foundation therefore will continue to make gamma globulin available this summer in mass inoculation. That is its obligation to the American people.